please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. Meave was riding at the head of the caravan when Black Raylo rode up. So what do you propose? Asked the Queen, her gaze fixed. Meave's retinue reached the cemetery before dusk. I am Eldane. I would speak to Meave. I am she. Speak. Cadmil and Kedvagenved, Rena. This place is of great import to us, the Enshe. I would tell you of its monuments, of the weeping Ensevern. Carved by three generations of sculptors. Or of the alabaster relief of King Kellad. So beautiful, even the birds would gather to admire it. But I see your men have found our memorials. And, in the way of Dwan, destroyed them without a second thought. I cannot say this comes as a surprise. You've already shown the gods molded you from the basest of matter. You murdered injured soldiers who no longer posed you any threat. You agreed to lynch an entire village, without trial. Get to the point, Eldane. So I shall. As you certainly know, the necropolis is surrounded. Soon, there shall be a battle. But it is unseemly to fight in a cemetery. So I ask you to come out into the open. And surrender our tactical advantage. I suspected a matter so impractical as respecting the dead would mean nothing to you, Dwan. So I submit one more argument. The lives of the soldiers you sent to spy. If you leave the cemetery, I shall set them free. They will fight at your side. If not, I shall kill them, here and now. Milady, don't listen to him. He can't be trusted. Rayla, those are good men. Fabian, get it, Matthias. They've served me for a decade. They'd crawl through seven hells for their queen. They do not deserve such a death. I place a high value on my men's lives. Which is why I cannot risk my entire unit for a handful of soldiers. Your Grace, please, consider. I reject your offer, Eldane. As you wish, Rena. Squash me. In a swift, almost careless movement, Eldane slit the throat of the scout standing nearest to him, then gave the order to attack. Careful, stay alert. They're cowards all, and sure to have laid traps. Enough chit chat. Draw your weapon. Business for me. This could hurt. Watch your heads. <laughs> left, right, left, right. I was hoping you'd say that. Thing about slings, they hide well. The Grace, our soldiers, we could have spared them that death. Do 
one thing to rest. There's a time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Again and again. Waste of time for one like me. I shall not fail. <laughs> Give me a target. Nice cars? No, they don't hurt. Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. <laughs> Abolista, your command. Her Majesty is exceptional. Look what the wear cap dragged in. After a long, bloody battle, Eldane's unit was destroyed, and Eldane himself sat at Meave's feet, defeated and dying. To die in a cemetery. Something amusing in it, wouldn't you say? I am surprised you are in the mood for humor. All my tears I shed years ago. My family killed in a massacre aimed at eradicating our race. Senseless. Utterly senseless. Reyna, we have lost. Me, my Scoia'tael, Yen Shea. 
We shall vanish from this earth. Your grandchildren will know us in fairy tales only. Lay my bones to rest in a grave. Let me part this world with dignity. Eger Dregared. Oh, please! How dare he! Look, he laughs, Your Grace! This dog should rot in an open field. Need I mention the willow? The many strung from it? The many burned alive? Mercy you don't deserve, Eldane. I shall leave you where you lie. Where rats will gnaw at your bones. <laughs> in your boots, I would do the same. Vase derad, ep again. Meave gave the order to march that very night, not waiting for the day to break. She wished to leave behind as soon as possible the Moulderwood and the rotting elven remains littering Kedva Genved Cemetery. Black Rayler rode at the head of the caravan to the Queen's right, a satisfied smile playing on her lips. <laughs> <laughs>